Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Friday, the 8th of December, 2023, of the first week of Advent, is the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. In you, O Lord God, do I place all my hope and refuge. On you I cast all my tribulation and anguish, for I find all to be weak and inconstant, whatever I behold outside of you. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, Help me to draw near to you with faith and trust in your saving power and mercy. Free me from doubt and unbelief that I may approach you confidently and pray boldly with expectant faith. Let your kingdom come and may your will be done in me. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception Through her Immaculate Conception, God preserved Mary from the stain of original sin, making her all pure and all holy, preparing her to be the mother of the Savior. But this feast also reveals what God makes possible for all of us by grace, a healed humanity, holy and without blemish. We look to Immaculate Mary, awed by her singular privilege, confident that she intercedes for us so that we can share in her holiness, destined for the praise of His glory. The the Epistle I will put enmity between your offspring and hers. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 9. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me She gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 98 Responsorial Verse Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. 
The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Second Epistle He chose us in Christ before the foundation of the world. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist for the praise of his glory, we who first hoped in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia The Gospel Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke chapter 1 verse 26. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. 
Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation Where are you? Genesis chapter 3, verse 9 That's the question God asked Adam and Eve after they hid themselves in the garden. He knew the answer, of course, but he wanted them to see how their sin had separated them from him. Now, instead of watching joyfully as they came to him on their own, he would have to seek them out. He would have to call them away from sin and into his presence. And even then, their fear or resentment might keep them at a distance. And so he would continue in each generation to call to them. Where are you? Scripture tells us how, again and again, God called his people into a relationship of loving obedience. And again and again, they returned to him only to fall away. It seemed that they just could not maintain their faithfulness and trust in his love. But God didn't give up on his desire to save his people. When the time was just right, he brought forth something new. Someone preserved from the stain of original sin. He graced us with a woman with an immaculate heart who was finally capable of saying yes to him in every situation. At last, in Mary, God found a pure, sinless soul. He found in her someone worthy to receive his son, someone equipped to raise him up to become our savior. So when God called out to her through an angel, Mary freely gave the response he had longed to hear for centuries. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Luke chapter 1 verse 38 This is the marvelous truth we celebrate today. Through Mary, this immaculate woman, God could now enter a world scarred by sin and reconcile all things to himself. Because of her, everyone can be filled with the Spirit and live a life that reflects her purity and innocence. And by her intercession, her yes to God can be our yes. So today when you hear God calling, where are you? Remember Mary and echo her prayer of perfect surrender. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Pray for us, O Immaculate Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. Or if you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.